Hello, good evening everyone. Uh, my name is Afika and I will be your MC for today. Uh, we would like to offer our sincere gratitude to everyone present here for taking time out of your day to attend this session. And without further ado, I would like to invite Mr. Alex Chong for his presentation. Session, we will discuss on how COVID-19 pandemic has offered new opportunities for hackers Hello and good day everyone. My name is Alex and I'm the an SE from FireEye Malaysia. In this cyber podium session, we will discuss on how COVID-19 pandemic has offered new opportunities for hackers and also bad actors worldwide. Then slowly, are we moving to how FireEye solution helps to address these security challenges? 2020 and 2021 will be remembered as a uniquely disruptive year, but not just for a global health crisis, but also the digital online life. It will also be remembered as the year that security event exploded and cyber incidents transformed society in numerous ways. During this pandemic era, the bad guys have upped their game and we have to do the same and not letting our guts down. Changing cyber crime tactics and a shift to employees working from home elevates the importance of security and its strategies. Well, the overall message here is while working from home may change a lot of employees behavior, but a relaxed security standard shouldn't be one of them. In another words, what's happening now is a cyber pandemic, not only a biological pandemic. Defining a cyber pandemic is a bit like defining a perfect storm. Only this storm is in cyberspace. There are many moving parts, which includes all of the lists of the threats and cyber attack listed in the items here. From ransomware to data breaches, and from election security in the US to unemployed fraud, COVID-19 has in many ways unleashed a new set of challenges and accelerated existing challenges within the global enterprises. The sudden shift to working from home has raised various security concerns that experts need to check on. Some best practice while working from home, employees should be aware of any requests for information and verify the source, including unexpected emails or calls from co-workers. They also need to make sure the laptops that they use the cell phones and the apps are updated and installed with any required patches. Consider the dual factor authentication as well. The rapid widespread adoption of work from home tools has put considerable amount of strain on security teams, which must safeguard these tools without making it hard or impossible for employees to work. Back actors online have adjusted their methods to take advantage of the pandemic. Look at the trends of phishing. Hackers are opportunistic and they have pivoted from sending phishing messages asking for Bitcoin to something like COVID-19 related and something that is more personal and pulling on the heartstring. Pandemic related email phishing scam can be disguised as information from the World Health Organization or the Center for Disease Control, or pretend to have information about stimulus aids from the government. Impersonation attacks are getting rampant as well, making use of the pandemic situation to obtain personal identifiable information from unsuspecting victims. Cybercrime is growing, highly successful and profitable industry. A big part of this ransomware multi-prong attacks capturing an organization's data and systems. Since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, ransomware attacks have increased by nearly 500%. Think about it, the average ransom payments has also continued to climb, up 43% from the last quarter of 2020 to an average of over 200,000 US. What is especially insidious about this attack is that a ransom demand is often accompanied by a breach and extractions of company data and a concurrent extortion 
threatening to release the data unless additional payments are made. Criminals have also evolved to become increasingly systematic. The recent attack on Colonial Pipeline by the hackers are collectively known as DuckSide exemplify this. Like their state-sponsored counterpart, criminal collectives have created virtual organizations and enacted focused strategy targeting specific sectors and companies. They have infinite resources, skills, and patience. They are playing a long game where targets are identified, carefully reconnoitered, and only acted upon when the maximum value can be extracted. Not to mention that DuckSide is also selling ransomware packs to other hackers, ransomware as a service, and is becoming a growing profit center as well. So what do Firewire have to offer in terms of solving the critical pandemic challenges today? Well, simply put, FireEye is a company that is built differently. We have the both Mandian and also the FireEye brand uh, in the same company. Mandian is much more focuses on uh, vendor agnostic security solution and consulting brand, whereby FireEye is the security technology brand where we offer different technology platforms for the customers. As we look at these issues, right, the, the, the one thing we always tell uh, customers is that traditional reactive approach to security doesn't work well. You don't need security only when bad things are happening. You need to be able to prevent as many security incidents as possible and respond and remediate them if they happen. This is what makes us unique as a company. We help you build a security program that helps you before, during, and after security incidents. What do we mean by that? So when we talk about before, what you need here is to build a program that will spare you from as many incidents as possible in the first place. This is where we help organizations design a better program, assess and measure its effectiveness, pressure tests against real-life attacks and techniques, train people so that they are prepared to deal with the toughest issue and avoid careless mistakes like misconfiguration. That alone will make your team life noticeably easier. So what happens during? Incidents are everyday reality for security practitioners. Most of them are small, but some can be big, right? When you have one at hand, you need to block the basic threats, detect and alert on the more advanced ones. Prioritize alerts for your team and give them the right toolkit to respond. We also give you the access to our frontline experts if your team is up against a high severity test on demand or through a subscription service. That way you have the tools and expertise needed at any given time. Then finally, we often remind customers that Breaches are inevitable. Lately, we've seen thousands of organizations impacted by supply chain threats and zero-day vulnerabilities in quintessential IT tools. While you can't avoid all of them, you can be prepared. And preparation means being able to quickly perform compromise assessment, have incident response experts by your side in hours rather than in days, and also, hardening and improving your posture and team skill after an incident. Let's look at the ransomware attack threats in more detail. When you're up against these threats, you want to know if you are at risk or not, if you have all it takes to defend yourself or what you can do better in terms to protect from an attack. Again, we use the same framework. First, we help you to identify your posture through Mandian ransomware assessment. This will give you a better sense of your current state of affair. With threat intelligence, you can get a better sense of the attacker and uh, threats they are likely to target, specifically your organization. And with security validation, you can continuously measure your program effectiveness against real world threats that Mandian sees. Let's assume now that you are observing a ransomware attack targeting you. 
in this case, you can use email security, our solution for the preferred delivery method of ransomware attacks, email. That will help you block and contains ongoing threats. You can also use endpoint security to catch ransomware on endpoints and assist with investigation and forensic. Lastly, you can use managed defense or MDR service in case you don't have enough people or manpower or they are not skilled enough to defend against such an attack. Well, with all that said, ransomware attacks happens to any organization, be it big or small. Sometimes we start working with companies only after a compromise has been established. In that case, we typically start with our incident response practice, which helps quickly contain the damage, work with internal stakeholders and board, craft external messaging and media strategy, negotiate with the threat actors if needed, and of course, resolve an incident whenever possible. Later on, Mandian can help transform or harden the program and, and put technologies in place to ensure a more robust security posture. It's important to note that ransomware attack may take many forms and its consequently do vary. These are just some examples of how we can help you navigate this challenge. We want to bring technology skills and productize our expertise and intelligence through multi-vendor automated technology solutions that we are going to deliver through the Mandiant Advantage SaaS platform. So let's talk a little bit about the platform as a whole and then we can speak to each module. Think of Advantage as the SaaS platform that is all things Mandiant. It's automation powered by unique Mandiant intelligence and expertise. Really, Mandiant expertise is a virtual extension of the customer's team. It's a technology interface to augment, automate, and enhance your team on site with what we know, when we know it, and our experts. Ultimately, we see this as multi-vendor extended detection and response. It's not that we are saying that you don't need controls. It's we believe that this control can be more effective if they are backed by and powered by our expertise and intelligence. Mandiant Advantage is an integrated platform and that's the three core module today. Threat intelligence which you can think of an external view based upon your profile, what the attackers and uh, techniques, tactics and procedures that they are targeting you. Security validation is where we pivot an internal view and actually understands what's the relevance of this intel to your environment. What you need to block, what you need to detect and what will you miss, right? Automated defense allow us to move from understanding the threats and measuring of your effectiveness on the threats to better operating security, to actually leveraging that intel and the knowledge when we are doing alert triage and other activities in the security operation center. For each of these three modules, there is flexible delivery that can be purchased, leveraged by customers that are well resourced just as technology. They can be expert back and purchase bundle with consulting services, or they can be fully managed, similar to how our managed defense works today. These are options for managed threats intel or managed validation, managed automated defense, and that is where a Mandian expert is going to run this technology to augment your team. But there's also a large element of data science and a large elements of expert analysis that comes from our advisory team. And we are able to do some interesting stuff to further increase your effectiveness and increase your efficacy. This data fits directly into the detection models and the machine learning models that are powering automated defense. This data is automatically scored and we have the whole new model called M-score where we are able to tick the process that one of our expert analysts will go through to determine if an indicator like an IP address or a fully qualified domain name or something along those lines was malicious, which would take quite a long time to do. 
M score allows us to score this indicator in milliseconds and provide you the live data. And you will be able to know which ones are important for your prioritization and which ones are not. Data science and our experts are able to build relationship with all the data. How do these various items link together? What's the impact to you? What is a broader attribution? Who is actually behind this? All this can be answered with our Intel grid. All of these things from broad data to advanced attribution are available and are continuously being updated in this Man Mandiant Intel grid. It's powering the modules, the contents, and the platform. So you are focused on what is important right now. So to wrap this up from Mandium Advantage platform perspective, it's the XDR for multi-vendor security controls. It's focused on automation powered by Mandium unique expertise and intelligence, allowing you to have with each of these modules the benefits of having Mandium expertise being an extension to your team through this platform with flexible delivery, 100% technology, fully managed, expert back, bundle with our consulting. Right, let's move into the first module. The first module that we are discussing here is Mendel Threat Intelligence. Okay. Mendel Threat Intelligence is the frontline view of the external threat landscape. What is important based upon what we are seeing attackers targeting you and your peers right now? Who are those actors? What are their tactics, techniques and procedures? What are their indicator of compromise? And what do I need to do about it? Going back to the timeline view of the FIN11 process that is really shifting you, give you direct visibility into those emerging threats. I'm categorized group to understand exactly what is most important to prioritize and focus your resources in your environment. When you think about threat intel, think about know, prioritize and act. Know what we know when we know it. This is the early knowledge advantage that Mandium provides. Prioritize what you are focused on with relevance and real-time intelligence. Act quickly and operationalize with this intel within the Mandium Advantage platform through validation and automated defense, as well as our integration to SIEM, SOAR, and multi-vendor support. A prioritized act is really quick way to think about that external landscape and what that Mandian threat intelligence module is providing. So we will pivot over to take a look at the screenshot that we have showing in the top left. If you look at the most active actors in the last quarter, other than the APT, 34 and FIN. These are primarily uncategorized group, the UNC uncategorized group. These are groups that Mandians uh, has a unique view of. We can see them trending. We can also give you insights into our machine intelligence and operational intelligence as well as FinTel. So there's a great rich demo around threats intelligence when we do a deep dive on it but this is just a quick screen shots to see how that functionality looks. So the second part here is Mandian security validation. So uh, we are piloting from that external view and now saying, what does that mean to me internally? How is this relevant to me? So regarding the second part here, you can think of this continuum. If we start from frontline Intel, if we start with intelligence that we know that is targeting you and your peers right now based on upon the frontline view that we have, we have already cut out a lot of access. We have already whistled down a smaller set of data. We know the attackers are using it actively. Then we validate it, that using security validation in your environment, all right? Uh, and for example, it's gonna take 20 things we know attackers are using to target you and your peers. And you are going to be able to ask the question then, of these 20 things, which 15 am I blocking? Which three am I detecting? And which two am I missing? 
it's really that these two that you are missing is where your priority is, should be. You know, where you need to prioritize your resources and your focus. It's really the ultimate uh, instantiation of making track intelligent resources uh, um, because it's actionable, but it's also personal. It's personal to that environment, you know, your environment, and it's customized to that environment. And we, as we, as I mentioned earlier, the biggest reason behind large number of attacks that are missed, unblocked, and undetected is because of misconfiguration. This is where we are able to see um, misconfiguration and find them in the security controls in your environment before the attack takes place. You can think of this as getting an incident response ahead of time, you know, seeing what's going to fail, seeing where uh, all the misconfigurations are, and, and where are those um, uh, under configurations, and, the, and where are the environmental drift that impacted your ability to be effective, right? So the three things uh, to think about, about security validation are measure, manage, and communicate. We want to help you to measure the effectiveness against relevant threat actors, the relevant frameworks. And when we say frameworks, everyone is measuring against NIST and MITRE attack framework. And then we move to manage. This goes back to environmental drift. Security has challenged when uh, the network team, the IT team, uh, people move things around in the cloud. Things are shifting and that creates an environmental drift and misconfiguration. By validating continuously in your environment, again, this baseline of known goods, we can demonstrate improvements over time. But we can also manage against this challenge. This gives us quantifiable metrics that we can communicate the effectiveness of how your security program is. And then conversations around the optimizing, rationalizing, ensuring that we are demonstrating effectiveness of the security program. So Mendian Security Validation is a module in Mendian Advantage platform and is integrated into the other aspect there. This is a screenshot where we have pivoted on some activities associated with a couple of uh, foreign actor groups and get an overview to understand based upon this control in the environment. In this case, the FireEye Network Security Component, the NX, Palo Alto, and SNOT, what are the blocks and what are the detections are being shown here. And of course, if the user were to scroll down on this page, they will be able to see the details specifically on what attacks were successful, what were blocked, and what was detected, and what was missed. So now we jump over to automated defense, the third component here. And we are shifting now from the external view and the relevance of that to now better operating security. This is where you can think of automated defense as Mendian expert in the box. It's um, augmenting the front line of the security operation center and injecting a Mendian virtual analyst into your team. The result is we are able to combine the intelligence validation and machine learning that lets us do 100% of alerts of to triage those at machine speeds in the context of everything we know about current, past, and active breaches, as well as then to make decisions consistently based upon what a Mandian expert would do. This is a huge challenge in the security operation center today. That no matter how much automation, contextualization, and enrichment that we put there, often it's up to the human to make a decision and that analytical process that they go through is often rushed. You know, it depends upon experience. It depends upon the kind of day that they are having to go through, you know, uh, for them to be consistent. And so what is amazing here is that we are able to do this, not just on the entire volume of alerts and events, but in a consistent and a complete way, as if we were to make a decision uh, with the best possible outcome each time based upon our expertise and intelligence. So it's really a combination of our expert systems and machine learning models that we have not seen in the industry before. The things to, uh, to think about here are investigate, simplify, and unify. 
So from an investigation and triage point of view, we are going to be able to look at all of these alerts and events while leaving the data where it is. This helps to simplify things because delivered from a SaaS interface, it's very simple to deploy and we are not having to write rules or playbooks because the machine learning models combined with our intelligence are dynamic enough with this expert system so that we are adjusting to both the external threats as well as your environment, which is the key as we are making this decision to defend or not to defend, to decide on what's false positive and what is not. And this really brings uh, a unification because if you consider how human think, we have to make decision in silo. Now we look at the larger sets of alerts and make these consistent decisions in a much broader context and a unified way as opposed to simply addressing one alerts from a single vendor. So we can actually look across vendor, cross customers and cross timeframes and all these things automatically to have unified view of what is the best decision that we can make every time and then execute on that. Here's a screenshot of the Mandiant Automated Defense. Notice at the bottom of the screen, uh, we have correlated over 800 plus different events across multiple systems and user accounts into a single investigation. This is not the simple stuff of the old school of aggregating all the same alerts from the same time into one thing. This is real cross model, cross vendors case that we have built out by identifying various ways these things are tied together and then presenting that consolidate the unified case back to you in a fully automated way for an analyst to identify and go through cutting down on hours and hours of analyst time and enabling humans to focus on what we are good at which is deep dive on the small set of things instead of trying to make generic decisions on large sets of things. Okay, next we come to the technology platform that FireEyes has to offer. We look at the email security platform, which provides protection for the number one threat actors, vectors in this pandemic era. So essentially, FireEyes email security combines adversary intelligence, right, and, and victim intelligence. We are able to gain insights about what others attackers uh, to better defend ourselves. So. Additionally, we are able to combine and integrate technologies through our products portfolios, whether it's on the endpoint, networks and email. So it will be able to form the complete ecosystem that fits our intelligence, right? And correlation as we respond to the threats we stop to learn more about the threats as we fight. So this is the screenshots of the email threat protection platform showing the advanced threats alerts that we are able to detect across in the email that we receive. Next, the endpoint defense and response solution that Firewire has. So the endpoint security solutions contains targeted engines to respond to threats, find the threats that breach protection and clean up across the entire organization. We do this via modular components in the endpoint solution, which categorize into protection, using signature and signature-less machine learning capabilities, you know, from malware protection, malware guard, exploit guard, and even process guard. And next would be the, the detection category, category with our indicator of compromise information from our threat intel. We are able to have um, better IOCs to detect all the different threats that's coming up on, in zero day as well, and also the response component, the various components designed to provide investigative and forensic capabilities in the solution. So here's the screenshots of the endpoint security console showing the main dashboard and you also be able to drill down onto the alerts detection on specific host. Last but not least will be the network security components where we provide network visibilities and protection against advanced threats utilizing machine learning and correlation engines. With the network security solution, we have a component called multi-vector virtual execution engine or MVX for short, 
which is a hardened hypervisor designed to emulate multiple operating systems, applications, so that we can provide over uh, 2,000 simultaneous execution environment for threat analysis. So MVX in the network security component is not just a sandbox, it's more than that. So the network security solutions provides IPS functionality, detect lateral spreads movement in the network via smart vision, SSL decryptions, callback detection, and also third-party integration via API. So another quick snapshot of the um, dashboard from the network security console, showing a quick overview of the alerts and also specific alerts detected in the network. All right, securing remote working environment and sustaining the confidentiality, integrity, and authentication for the customer facing network are essential to ensure the continuity of operation during this disruptive time. The solution mentioned here have helped many organizations to overcome the security difficulties they face and maintain their standings with customers and other stakeholders. Thank you very much for your time and I hope everyone gains valuable information from this session. Stay safe and thank you. Please put me up so that I can answer this um, on the spot. Hi, everyone. Um, I think there was a question with regards to whether um, FireEye provide threat hunting service. Yes, uh, FireEye offers threat hunting service via our Mandian solution. So um, it's actually offered part of the Mandian uh, managed defense and response service. So we do have uh, threat hunting uh, capabilities within the Mandian uh, defense and response services. Yeah. Um, okay, that's, 
Another question is what platform does the MSV support? Can this be deployed in the cloud? So uh, the managed security validations um, support various different platforms. So basically it's, it's run as a VM that you can deploy uh, you know, in the cloud, but <clears throat> it actually runs on a virtual machines uh, as part of the actor and director. So you, you will be deploying your actor or VM in different various segments of the network, uh, preferably on the external network and also uh, in the internal network. Then you have a director uh, whereby you can actually run in a VM as well that will be um, orchestrating or, or managing all the um, different alerts coming from all your different security solutions in place within your network. So all these are running on VM and um, the actor will be you know, performing the, the threats after the director orchestrate the entire uh, threats that need to be done to actually, to once this launch, to actually determine what are the control that is able to detect, block, or even alerts uh, within, within your entire security uh, control ecosystem. Okay. Uh, All right. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chang. On behalf of SIDES, I would like to thank you for your um, speech today thank you and very presentation. Much. Okay. Uh, and with that, our session has come to its end. It's a pleasure hosting this event today, and we hope to see you in our next event. Thank you, everybody. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Alex.